Okay, welcome back. It's 944. A Pirate's Book of Days began in 2005 as a history project by our next guest. The book includes historical accounts of pillage, plunder, and piracy. Well, last November, Steve created a Pirate's Book of Days app, which allows users to connect through a global calendar of pirate-themed events, festivals, and walking tours. We welcome Steve Jeanette to Virginia this morning. Congratulations on the app, Steve. That is awesome. Thanks. First Great of all, I have to that. ask, where did this uh, obsession come from of, of, of pirates? Oh, gosh. So when I could first learn to read back as a little kid, mm -hmm. I used to check this one book out of the library in elementary school over and over and over and over again. Uh, eventually, my parents got it for me. Um, and it was like an Encyclopedia Britannica type book with pirates. Just pirates. Just pirates. It was all pirates, book cover to cover. So I still actually have the book my oh, parents got. Oh, that's wonderful. So years and years go by. Back in like 2005, I was determined I was going to do a calendar, a desk calendar, and a This Day in History book about pirates. Mm -hmm. Because they're... There were thousands and thousands of pirates. There wasn't just the handful that you hear about. Right. It was every day. This, this was a very common thing. Piracy was rampant during the age of exploration and, and the colonization of the New World and everything else that was going on. Piracy fueled all that. They, that's how the Crown and, and the other countries came and they stole somebody else's wealth that they were plundering from the Americas. It was crazy, crazy, crazy times. So what you're doing is basically taking that Encyclopedia Britannica and putting it in sort of app form, maybe electronic form for elementary and even adults of today, Steve. There, there's a lot of adults who really dig pirates. I mean, it's, it's really fun. It's very fascinating. A day doesn't go by that, like, I don't get somebody who's like, oh, this is great. I love this. Um, because it's Every day something happened, but you don't hear about it. No. You don't know about it. So what the app does is it delivers for you. Every day you get a daily account of pillage, piracy, and plunder. What happened on this day? What happened on this day? And well, let's, let's go through some sure. of this right here. Okay, doke. Got a nice uh, handy over the shoulder shot right here. Okay. So this so. is uh, after you've uh, downloaded the app. After you you can just go the through app. and uh, steer us through this app. So if you're a pirate fan and, and want to attend a festival and meet other pirates today, the Gasparilla pirate invasion is taking place down in Tampa. In Tampa. Let's get on the flight. Okay, so it's a two-day two -day gig. Um, All the information? Yep. They're, 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 you can scroll through the calendar, and we've got events and, and walking tours. There's walking tours sure. in, in, in Towns that are pirate towns. Steve, I have to ask, does this app separate myth and really reality? Um, is there a lot of myths surrounding pirates? Actually, there is. I mean, there's like 13 and a half million Facebook fans for the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. And that's great. And it's really, you know, in people's consciousness. But that's, you know, there were no... It's Disney. There really weren't, yes, there, it's Disney. There really weren't, like, ghost ships and all that stuff that, like, we can really say. There weren't? <laughs> I'm sorry to burst the bubble. Um, but even the things that are written about pirates, right. a lot of it's derivative. So back in uh, 1650s and the 1700s, there were two major works about pirates that are considered like the Bible. So this ex Camellon who was on Captain Morgan's cruise mm -hmm. and right, raiding Panama and all the buccaneer days. Kept a diary. He kept a diary and he wrote it all up. Well, you have to believe him or not believe him. Sure. So everybody believes him. So if you were doing research on pirates up until recently, that's what you refer to. So you refer cool. to his writings. But what's happened is over the last 12, 15 years, all of the archives, you know, somebody sat down with a quill pen and wrote it all up. Right. They had to write four letters back to the crown. Every time they wrote one, they had to scribe the copied and copied and copied. Sure. The case didn't get there. So all of these records exist, but they've been digitized. So now these archives that you had to get on a plane, speak the language, get an appointment, wear white gloves, maybe they let you touch it, maybe they didn't, to look at it. I can access all that online. That's amazing. And it's kind of like debunking some of what are common myths about pirates or common 
what's been the word, but it's really not true. This is an amazing app so, right here. Steve, thank you so much. Listen, if you want to get more information thank on you. this, we're going to put this Pirates Book of Days, we're going to post that link right on our show website by early this afternoon at WTVR.com slash VTM, and it really just speaks to what a book will do for a child as a little kid. Thanks so much, Steve. We appreciate it.